three, one, two, three. Hello, and this is Age of Mythology HD Extended Remastering Super Duper Awesome Edition, available now on Steam. Yep, eh, there we go. Now, this is Age of Mythology, a uh, spin-off series of Age of Empires, Age of Empires 2, probably, you know, amongst my favorite games. And the reason I picked this game, well, the reason I bought this game, A, because I owned the original disc version and thought it was amazing, and B, it's a really old-fashioned, fun RTS, where they've added in so many extra features and, you know, um, cheats and bonuses and hidden easter eggs and stuff that it just makes it really amusing and it's just such a lot of fun to play there's always a different way to play it with different gods and different techniques and you know all sorts of stuff like that and there's so many fun ways to play this you know normally and you do different tech techniques and different tactics and da da da, da. but that's not what I want to do today what I want to do today is this. Oh. H-O-R-O-C, H-O-R-O-C-L-E. There we go. I want to take advantage of some of the this game's most hilarious, amusing cheats. And just mess with a whole bunch of civilizations for no point this reason just to uh, uh, you know indulge my mad schemes of power and it's uh, refreshing to see a game with cheats because so many games you know shy off them you know oh, it's got to be realistic you've got to play fair you've got to be kind and all that crap and it always slightly bugs me because if you disable the achievements, which this game does, if you use cheats, then it's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. L three three T oh L three three T super hack store. Now, now I've I've forgotten some of the cheats over the years, but that's supposed to be the infinite building cheat. Um, why are my villagers? Fucking pricks outside. If apologies if you can hear that audience. That's my bloody fuckwit scum neighbours over the road. Never have neighbours, ladies and gentlemen. I I think I've stated this in a previous video, but never have neighbours. They're just they're horrible creatures. Horrible, horrible creatures. All right. Well, I suppose we should get up through the ages, shouldn't we? Um. Not into fairies, so we'll go with Anubis. Uh, what else can we do? I'll oh, build some houses. Ooh. Um. Yes. What else have we got? What else have we got? Um. Wrath of fairies. Damn, there's a cheat that turns all berry bushes like that you get food in on the map uh, into um, walking, living, man-eating bushes. And it's so funny. It's just stupid cheats. Like, for no, like, no pointless reason. Or for no reason, other than for fun. And I love that. Um, is it beware? I'm pretty sure it's something to do with... Oh, I thought it was something different. No matter. Oh, well. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, damn, I've forgotten so many... Well, I've forgotten all the cheats. I've been going on about how fun the cheats are, but the only ones I remember are the ones that I used to abuse the um, privilege of. Like, there's one for which creates a giant... Um, a giant with a pitchfork called the Fork Boy that pimp walks around the map um, taking down buildings. You've got, you know, giant monsters, dragons, so many funny things. 
and you can build another house. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna summon the first one here. If my priest would like to get it into convenient range. Uh, oh. how walk slow the animation walks is. We can fix that though. Hehehe, <laughs> this is my first favorite cheat. The Canadian Laser Bear. It is the fastest moving thing ever. It's it just races across the map. What's this? Shroom. See what if you're watching the moon map in the corner. Shroom. Yep. And attack. Chicken storm. And this thing does 120 damage, which just crushes anything in its path. It's just such a lot of fun. Now, oh yes, I suppose for those of you who don't know the game and are not sure what I'm actually doing, uh, this is Age of um, Age of Mythology. Blah 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 blah. Um, you basically you you can work. You start off following one of the major Greek, Egyptian, Norse, or Atlantean gods, and then you. You follow the minor gods as you progress up through the ages, unlock new god powers, new abilities, new tactics, stuff like that. Like that one there was Earthquake, and then you've got Flaming Weapons, Eclipse, Vision, which allows you to see you know, where the enemies are on the map. Uh, oh, this one is a great one. Uh, it makes all the trees come to life. Ah, such fun. Such fun. We'll build a armory. Where's my laser bear? Laser bear. A laser bear. Here you are, laser bear. Let's give him some friends. Because you know, Canadians never like to be alone. Let's see. <laughs> Here's another one. Oh. Type that in wrong. Now this one, this kid, creates a flying purple hippo with a top hat. And I will show you what its primary attack is. It has probably one of the most funniest primary attacks, aside from the Canadian laser bears. Which shoot lasers out of its nose, if you look closely. See? It shoots lasers from its nose. Yep. Laser bears. Ah, uh, look at them go. Xenos Paradox. Ooh. Plenty vaults. Of course the rich get richer. And the broken game gets more broken. Oh. oh, oh. Look, look what the thing does. What? It shoots hearts. It shoots hearts. Now, there we go. That right there is a Tartarian gate. It spawns a gate into the underworld which all manner of demons come out of and destroy anything they touch. So we will leave that be and let the flying purple hippos get back along to their business. Um, Canadian laser bears. Oh, where are my laser bears? Hi, laser bears. Let's go traumatize another realm. Traumatize these guys. Xenos paradox. Oh, oh yes. And there's one cheat. One cheat of them all. When you you can't be bothered unorganizing. Wrath of the Gods give you access to oh, earthquakes, lightning storms, meteors, tornadoes. Oh, let's summon a nice friendly tornado. And an earthquake. And a lightning storm. Because why not? No? Yeah. Go, flying purple hippos. Fly away. Oh, yes. Uh, here is another p cheat. Have I wrote... There we go. <laughs> this just takes a while. This summons all of the main characters from the campaign that you play as. Um, that's quite handy if you want some cheat heroes you know, right out of nowhere. Rag and leaf. Viking warrior maiden with a spear. What more could you ask for? 
Oh, go to Atarian Gate. Here, yeah, let's help you out. Let's summon the death of the dinosaur bomb. Uh, no, I can't do that in a lightning storm. Oh. Let's summon some meteors right here. Uh, what else can we do? I think we've kind of ruined these guys' lives enough, really. <laughs> what am I kidding? You can never ruin the lives of people enough. If that's one thing the universe has taught me, is that no matter how things bad seem, they can always get worse. And another one. Bugger it, why not? Let's get an earthquake in here. Well, let's get an earthquake in here then. Ah. Uh, I wish I could do this in my weekly games. Me and my brother, uh, who also owns this game, we have weekly games of this, where he proceeds, where I, he's won every time for three weeks in a row. Um, it's not for my lack of trying. I always get, like, that close. But my problem is I do really daring, you know, ornate attacks, but I never have enough reinforcements to back up my counter, like, assaults. So my soldiers always end up be... Um, getting unsupported and left out in the open, which causes them to lose. Which I find kind of sad sometimes. Oh, let's summon another meteor. Um, are these guys dead? If I have pleased the gods, I have been granted this power. Who are you? Arion? Who are you? I don't know who you guys are. Have I killed you already? Hmm. Strange. Uh. Oh, yes. Do I have the land that allows you to see the map? No, it's not cast there. I don't know who it is. Oh well. Uh, we'll go. I don't even need to bother about my base, to be honest. It's just about making me feel better. Uh, Alright, laser bears. Ooh, it's a laser bears and a hippo. Um, I'm kind of not sure what to do, really. I've already destroyed a civil all these civilizations. That's kind of... I was kind of hoping to torment them a bit longer. Oh well. Let's destroy the demon gate. Just so we don't need that lying around. Um, no. Is there anything out here? Because I don't know if the enemies will quit or not. I don't really want to have to hunt around for them. Settlement, 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 settlement. Settlement, settlement. Mm. Priest. I don't know where the enemy is. Laser bears, find the enemy. Oh, are they down there? Uh, no. But I can always use the opportunity to cause some more carnage. Meteors, tornadoes, oh a dot, I think an earthquake is the perfect answer to this problem, I'm <laughs> just destroying the land, it's so fun, it's just, people need to add cheats like this back into games, if you have to disable the trophies, achievements, do that, I'm more than happy to, but put them back in. Because they're so fun. Like, why? Why should you take them out? I know, you know, you want realism and you want, you know, hardcore. And, you know, people playing and stuff. But it's just so much fun that it's just worth it. Really? It's always worth it. Oh. Oh. Um. Damn it. Damn, where are my laser?
Grizzly Bears activate. <laughs> I remember I played the campaign on the hardest mode, which cheats enabled, otherwise I wasn't going to do it. And it was probably one of the most even fair fights I've ever had until I started spamming laser bears. It was just so good. Come on, laser bears. There's a dude still alive. Uh, we need you to deal with this dude. Peace. Laser bear. Bye bye. Alright, now we. Well. I suppose that really wraps up the video. I've caused all the carnage in the world I want to cause, but there isn't anything left. So let's just... Oh. Yeah, Xenos Paradox. Um, oh, implode. I always wish they added that onto the Wrath of the Gods power. What it does is it's an ability that sucks up everything um, within its range. And then just destroys it in a ball of fire. Where is Aradon? Where? Where are these yellow guys? I can't find them. Is it? Is that them? There. Did they rebuild their civilization when I wasn't looking? Because that would be just dishonest. Shame on them. Hurry up and build my market. Ooh. Ooh, let's, let's finish. So, my audio kind of died here without me noticing it. And I didn't actually figure it out until I went to edit this. So, yeah. This is a thing. But don't worry, you have my brilliant memory of what I recorded two days ago. Uh, oh yes, I activated the Vortex and started sucking everything in, forgetting that it sucks in friendly f troops as well as enemy troops, which is why my Canadian Gebears got blasted. Then I decided to go Wrath of the Gods and just annihilate everything, because when you got unlimited earthquakes, why not? And upon realizing that didn't work, then I got really irritated and discouraged. <laughs> I do recall me going, where is this thing? Where is this bloody villager? And uh, me trying to go into the mythic age so I could research that ability that lets you see every enemy unit on the map. And me selecting my laser bears and having them run around. So yeah, I'm actually quite miffed that the original audio canned out just there. The notification didn't pop up on my screen, which is most annoying. Oh, yeah. This is me desperately trying to find what enemies I destroyed and what enemies still had troops left. Oh, the laser bears doing what they do best. Oh, if you get like 20 of those laser bears, you can go through anything. It's, it's such a fun unit. Oh, there, there goes the laser bears. One dead dwarf. And yum. Oh yes, this is when I realized I could just type in Thrill of Victory, which is the cheat that automatically makes you win the game. And there we go. I won the game. Hooray for me. So yeah, well, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I shall see you later. Oh no, I'm still going. Still going. Bloody video. Oh yeah, I went through my stats and, you know, relished on the fact that they seem quite out of place with the game timeline. Look, I mysteriously seem to rise up lots and lots of times, while the enemy myste mysteriously seems to remain quite low before dying. How unusual. Oh well, this is where I ended it. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you again another time.